the most part, Andrea. Does. And well, I will give you a soundbite. Uh, when Andrea called and told me about who, it was the first time I've ever heard her say, "I'm sick to my stomach." And Andrea does not get. Andrea is the office manager and, uh, and head veterinary technician. Uh, we've been through a lot of very disgusting scenarios together, and uh, with the dogs that we've rescued, and I've never heard her say. Uh, and she's dealt with my sense of humor, and I've never heard her say that she's sick to her stomach before, other than with this particular case. Um, now, you said you've seen a lot of grotesque things. Talk to me a little bit about kind of dog fighting in Kern County. What you've seen, what you know, what you don't know. <laughs> um, well, what I know, um, what I know of dog fighting in Kern County is that it gets blown out of proportion. Quite frankly, anytime someone sees a dog with scars on them, uh, on their face, or sees a, a dog with ears that are cropped like this, they assume it's a dog from dog fighting. Yeah. Um, more often than not, it's a family that wants their dog to look intimidating. That's when ears are cropped crudely and uh, at home like this. Um, but uh, dog fighting does exist. It very re really does exist. And there are groups of people um, that, for whatever reason, find that uh, to be a particular type of entertaining. Maybe the, um, the, uh, you know, the utmost grotesque of human possibility. You know, I think life is about taking things to the extreme. And, and cutting a dog's tongue out and cutting his ears off so that he can fight more effectively is the extreme, and I suppose that's what that, that's what is attractive to people. Um, dog fighting in Kern County is not epidemic, I don't believe. I believe there are pockets of undesirable people, just like there are pockets of unde undesirable people everywhere. There are always going to be elements of of our culture and of society that are uh, that are baffling. That will just that we can't comprehend the level of negativity that they're capable of. Um, but at the same time, Kern County has a lot of work to do. Kern County has a lot of work to do when it comes to changing the way we view our pets um, as family, not as um, as possessions, expendable possessions that we can trade, borrow, um, euthanize because they're inconvenient. And they, you know, they, they bring us a lot of joy and they teach us a lot of lessons if we're willing to listen and if we're willing to be receptive. And we need to treat them accordingly. And that's the part that sickens me the most is, is, uh, is dogs have so much potential. There's so much you can learn if you integrate canines into your life um, in a, in a multi-dimensional way. They can teach you so much. They can offer you health, happiness, uh, both mental, mental and physical health. And to, uh, to not take the opportunity to, um, to uh, accept them for that huge potential is just a shame. It's a, it's a shame. And, and we as a society, we as a culture here in Kern County, Need to start shifting that paradigm and be more aware of uh, of what our what our pups are worth.